Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be talking about Oberlo for WooCommerce. What is an Oberlo alternative plugin that you can utilize for your e-commerce store? You've probably seen Oberlo. Uh, we're going to go on the website right here. You've probably heard of Oberlo. It's for use with Shopify. Shopify owns Oberlo. So you can use them for your drop shipping based e-commerce store. Now, if you really wanted to get started with this, obviously this is a decent plugin. Uh, I actually have recommended Oberlo many different times over the years for people looking to get started with drop shipping on Shopify and doing e-commerce that way. Now, while I have discussed the business model in depth in the past, this is an option. Now, if you want an alternative because maybe the pricing is too much, right? That's one of the biggest complaints. It's free to start, but after you get started, um, then you have to pay more for the other Shopify plans and all that kind of stuff to get the um, more premium options with Oberlo. It's not exactly just completely free. You do have to pay more over time. So, well, what is a good alternative then? What is Oberlo for WooCommerce? What actually works with WooCommerce, with WordPress, with that platform in comparison to just Shopify? So let me just hit the punchline right here. It is Ali Dropship, right? It's a WooCommerce dropshipping plugin. Now there are a lot of other different options. This is just the one I'm gonna be focusing on in the video today as one of the alternative options for Oberlo for WooCommerce because it does work directly with the WooCommerce platform, which is the e-commerce version of, of WordPress, basically. You, you have WooCommerce installed on your WordPress website, which we can get into the specifics of how you do that later in this video. But right here, we have WooCommerce dropshipping plugin. As you can see, thanks to Ali Dropship Woo, you can import products directly from AliExpress into your WooCommerce dropshipping store. If that is the business model that you wish to go through, you can process clients' orders and track the business's performance as well through here. Um, this is great because you can still run a WordPress website. And then if you wanted to add the e-commerce and the dropshipping kind of stuff, you can do that if you want to. So, and it's only a one-time payment, which is really great in comparison to paying monthly just for the service in comparison to, um, in comparison to Shopify, where you're paying monthly, even just for the website, you would still pay monthly for hosting on WordPress, but um, it's a lot cheaper than Shopify per month cost uh, if you if you break it down on a price price comparison. Um, so Ali Dropship Woo, you still get the unlimited products from AliExpress if you wanted to do that. Um, and there's a lot of different benefits by using their platform. They have the same exact kind of e-packet system where you can uh, add things to your store and do it that way. Um, and you can even order a custom store, which some, some people have told me is pretty good. They build it for you. They do everything on there and they kind of walk you through the process. So that is another option as well. Um, I will say though, links to everything that I'm discussing are in the video description, as well as a link to this article that, uh, we'll be going through, um, off my website where more specifics are explained, but just taking you through at least their sales page here, they have a lot of good positive feedback. People recommend it. So that is one of the options. Now, why exactly would you necessarily want to use WooCommerce in the first place in comparison um, to utilizing Shopify and Oberlo? Obviously, pricing is the biggest thing, but along with that too is a lot of people use the WooCommerce checkout for their e-commerce store, regardless even if you're just drop shipping in the first place, if you just wanted to use a, a, a different e-commerce based platform instead of Shopify, maybe you're kind of in the middle between what type of website you wanna set up. Maybe you're looking to just do Printful or something like that and sell print on demand products. Uh, that could still be good with Shopify, but it is important to note that like, not, you know, a large percentage, this is recently updated here on Built With, which shows the e-commerce distribution across the top 1 million sites, 26% of them use a WooCommerce-based checkout system. Only 18% use Shopify. So you are using the most popular platform if you do end up going with WooCommerce in comparison to Shopify. Shopify is great. I've used both of them. Honestly, both platforms are pretty solid. Um, and this goes for whether you're dropshipping or not, okay? It d does not matter in that regard, at least in terms of the, the, the core e-commerce platform that you choose to use and what you build your website on. So those are kind of the two top. Obviously, there's also Magento, OpenCart, uh, Big Commerce, and then Shopify Plus. I don't know why they have that in there as a second secondary website, but it, but it is in there. Now, going off of just that data, there is also um, 
the data that, as you can see, WordPress powers a large percentage of the internet, right? A lot of the websites that I build now are just built on WordPress because it is just a lot more flexible of a platform in comparison to Shopify. Shopify still has its benefits. It's really, really easy to use. It's butter smooth to use. Shopify is literally the simplest website ma uh, management system to understand, but you know, it has its pros and cons. Not going to get into too specific of WordPress versus Shopify in this video. I have other videos on the channel about that, but in relating to just Oberlo and drop shipping and stuff like that, another thing with Shopify is they could technically terminate the service it, we, for any reason without notice of time, this is in their legal agreement. Uh, you know, it's good to read the fine print every now and then. It is just something that is a little bit sneaky. I doubt that Shopify would ever really do this to you if you're running your business with them because you're, you're paying them money every month. And, and it, I doubt that it really would happen, but it, you know that there is that there is that little bit of risk that that Shopify could could just end your site and you don't really have much control of that because you don't really own the the files you're almost renting your website with with Shopify in comparison to if you if you did WordPress and WooCommerce you actually own the files to the site you could pick up and move different hosting companies which we'll get into all that kind of stuff down a little bit later in this video so you would have 100% ownership with WordPress over your digital website and digital asset um, now in terms of an Oberlo alternative obviously it's the pricing is the biggest thing that most people um, have to look at and the cons of Shopify also is just $29 a month. And when you get into it, a lot of businesses, this is an, a screenshotted example here of one for sale on Shopify exchange and Shopify exchange or, or any, you know, empire flippers or, or any kind of business brokerage, um, that you find online is going to have websites for sale. A lot of the Shopify subscriptions can get quite expensive. Uh, when you choose to build your business with Shopify in comparison to WooCommerce and WordPress, it's usually more one-time payments, like how Ali Dropship is or, or Woo Dropship or any other kind of system. Ali Dropship is just the one that I personally recommend. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, options out there, obviously, but it just the WooCommerce dropshipping plugins, one-time fee. That's how pretty much how WordPress works for the most part across most plugins that you're going to buy or even they're free. So in comparison to where with Shopify, you know, they like to ding you a lot for, for mail, like some, well, MailChimp is, is an exclusion, but, uh, different types of apps just to do a simple pop-up might cost you mo money. Uh, some of them are free, obviously, like there's the privy pop-ups that I've talked a lot about in depth before that you can set up on your website, uh, on Shopify or wherever. But a lot of the subscriptions and the Shopify plans just tend to rack up. Um, and you know, it's just something to consider. It is a higher expense per month in comparison to other, uh, systems with WordPress. It's a lot cheaper, usually a lot more one-time payments. So, you know, making this big decision, Oberlo for WooCommerce, trying to find the, the sweet spot there. These are things you might want to think about. Okay. Uh, on top of that too, is it easy to use? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same system. I'm not going to play this video here that they have, but it is pretty much the same system as using Oberlo. You click the one button there and you can import stuff into your into your website, into your WooCommerce store, super easy peasy. Now, obviously, Ali Dropship as well, using WordPress for your website. Like I mentioned, the monthly fees and you, you, know, you have the freedom to publish. Uh, in terms of if you're trying to grow organic traffic with a blog, SEO is a hell of a lot easier on WordPress than it is on Shopify. Shopify... SEO is a lot more difficult to set up. It's it's extremely a lot 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 more difficult than it is. Um, it's a lot more difficult with Shopify than it is with Woo, WooCommerce or WordPress uh, setting up the SEO stuff. If you do plan to do a lot of organic traffic and blog posts or whatever you plan to do, it's just a lot simpler uh, in comparison. And like I said, there's pros and cons both. But you know, you I personally use Bluehost. If you're trying to get set up with WordPress, um, links in the description, to everything, and this article as well. You, WooCommerce is free, so you don't have to pay for WooCommerce. It's it's way cheaper per month with Bluehost um, in comparison to Shopify. It's like Shopify is base like twenty nine a month, and and subject these prices may change over time. At the making of this video, uh, well, the last time I checked, like twenty nine a month, right? And then in comparison with WordPress is maybe five to six bucks a month with hosting if you're doing like pro hosting. And even then you could get it down for the first year. You could just call them and be like, hey, give me a discount, you know, and they'll they'll hook you up. You know, it's it's pretty cheap uh, with different hosting 
platforms. And then you get Ali Dropship with one-time payments. So out the door, you you know, you pay for your your hosting, right? Your WordPress hosting might cost you, like I said, three, three, four, five, six bucks a month max. Okay. WooCommerce is free to install completely free. You install that. And then lastly, you have Ali Dropship Woo that gets you in there for 89 bucks one time. And even then they offer a lot of different discounts and stuff like that. That's just the base price. Um, and so it's like, it's way cheaper of a setup and even the custom store stuff that they offer and turn turnkey type websites. If you don't, maybe aren't the best at web design and you just want them to set it up, they can do that for you too. Um, but like there's just a lot, it's a lot simpler of a setup and a lot cheaper. Is it necessarily best for you? I don't know. You have to make that decision for yourself. I've tested both platforms. I do like both for different reasons. Like I've said, SEO is a lot better with WordPress and WooCommerce, whereas maybe social media, if, you, if you're not so tech savvy, if you're not as uh, you know willing to learn a bit more about the back end of websites then maybe Shopify would still be better for you in that situation because it's a little bit simpler but if you're willing to learn like you're going to save a lot of money it's way easier for SEO so it, th those are the kind of things that you want to think about when you're considering um, whether what, what you want to do for getting Oberlo for WooCommerce using Ali Dropship and kind of comparing the differences there between WordPress and Shopify for your e-commerce store. So like I said, links will be in the description to all of this. You can go ahead and read through this whole article if you want more in-depth information. But like I said, it's, it's a big decision to make, obviously, uh, because switching files over from one system to another can be a whole pain in the butt. So you definitely want to make the right de decision for your website, your business, your online store, whether that is drop shipping um, and, and building all that up or, or just even regular e-commerce. Those are also other things to think about. If you plan to maybe start with drop shipping and then slowly you transition into more, uh, whether it be you add some print on demand stuff or, or maybe you just even self-fulfill or use another third party logistics company to ship out your stuff or you use Amazon FBA, you can do all those kind of things with either, either platform that you end up choosing. So I hope this alternative solution, this plugin that works Similarly to Oberlo for WooCommerce, Ali Dropship Woo has been helpful. Like I said, lots of decisions to make, but hopefully this kind of helps you guys get more informed. Like I said, links in the description. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Be sure to hit the like button as well because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps get more, more people on this video if they're really searching and trying to figure this kind of thing out because it, there's a lot to, to consider with this these different options out there. Okay. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos as well. Uh, that might help you more. Uh, anyway, guys, that is all for today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.